Welcome to Realm of the Reptile. We're here in Florida, and we're kind of just checking out, seeing if we can find any animals. I saw an iguana that just ran into this bush. I don't see it right now. We'll keep an eye out for it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Check this out. It's not alive. Look. Whoa. <laughs> this is a horseshoe crab. Uh, it's obviously not alive right now. And, um, it must have washed up. This is like a perfect looking horseshoe crab. Wow. Um, they look kind of vicious. And when they're alive, they got all these little legs and everything. But they're actually not a problem. Um, you can actually pick them up. You can put them on your back. Let them scratch your back. No problem at all. They're pretty awesome. As you can see, they have this exoskeleton. And their tail kind of swishes like this. They can actually tuck this part kind of underneath themselves and kind of put their tail there but uh, they still don't harm you. They can kind of just go along on the, with the ocean floor. Absolutely beautiful. I found one at night. Uh, when I first came here to Florida, I went out to the beach and th there was one right there. I didn't even have a flashlight and you could still see it. The moon was so bright. Okay, let's see about this iguana. It was like, it was about this big. It was really, really bright green. Iguanas are a little bit of a problem right now um, in Florida, in the Florida Keys. What happened was uh, people kind of had them as pets and stuff, and iguanas get to be like six feet long, so they end up being a little bit of a nuisance, a problem um, for people to keep. And so they end up like letting them go. So they're starting to run all over the place in Florida. Come on this way. Whoa, what do we have here? It's kind of a place where there's a whole bunch of vultures and stuff, um, particularly turkey vultures, and they must have had a feed right here. Look at this skull. You can see these nice canines and these molars. I don't normally see so much of the skeleton left right here. You can kind of see where this can kind of fit in, and then the teeth. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> okay. And here's the, the vertebrae. I really like to, to notice how they all articulate together. It's a very uh, beautiful design. And here we've got some ribs hooked into those vertebrae. A lot of ribs, my goodness. Um, we got a leg here. That's fantastic. I'm gonna put you guys in charge of IDing this skull. So, you go ahead and write on my Facebook page, tell me, what do you think this is? This is what it looks like. We're in Florida. All right, awesome. Now, you can pretty much see, like look over here, I'll show you. Um, this is an area that is near the ocean. So the ocean basically flows into here um, when we get too much water. Over here, you might be able to see a bird if you look real closely. Um, you get different egrets and uh, herons ibises that kind of come into this area. It's a little bit silty, otherwise we'd look around in there. There was a warning sign before I came in here. It said, watch out, there might be alligators and rattlesnakes and scorpions. And I thought, woohoo! <laughs> let's find them. All right, let's keep going this way. Oh, there's a grasshopper. <laughs> there's a little bit. All sorts of stuff washes up. This is part of like a uh, lobster trap here. Kind of climb around in those. There's a lot of different trash and debris that kind of floats in through the ocean. You never know where it comes from sometimes. It could be from like the other side of the world. Crab trap. I still like to find that iguana. It's gotta be right here somewhere. It wasn't really going that fast. Specimens of mangroves. Look at this hanging here. <laughs> this is kind of fantastic. 
Doing. <laughs> what do we have here? This is some sort of like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> like a refrigerator? This might end up being a really good habitat for different snakes and lizards to live. Um, although it's not good that there's trash laying around, sometimes it ends up being a pretty good habitat. Let's look over here. Maybe right inside here. Whoa, whoa, gecko, gecko, gecko. Here, all right, let's see if we can catch one of them. All right. Geckos are really hard to catch. Sometimes if you wiggle your hand like this, you can end up catching them on the other side. But I don't know, we'll see. Oh, oh, there it's right there. Oh my god, oh my god, come on, it's up in the backside. There's so many that you don't know which one to catch. Wow, there's three sitting right there. Four. Okay. I'll encourage him to come out this way. Of course, my hand's over here. Come here, sweetie. Hi, cute little guy. Whoa, 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 there he goes. All right. Oh, 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 he went up here. Okay. Maybe if I can kind of encourage him to come up, that might be helpful. <laughs> A sea fan. You never know what you find in Florida. All right, let's see. I know they're still around here. All right, I'm gonna go around back. Let's see. Geckos are nocturnal, so they like to hide around in places like this that are a little bit cooler during the day. Ooh. All right, Mr. Gus. There's one. He's on your pants. Going oh my goodness. Naughty little blood? Alright. He knows what he's doing. He's like, who's that girl? He doesn't know what she's doing. little beauty. I believe this is an Indo-Pacific gecko. Mediterranean geckos also look very similar um, with, the, with the little knobs on there. Their skin's real sensitive. Look at this cute little tail. It's so hard to catch geckos because you got to be careful. Their tails are easy to catch, but what happens is they end up breaking off, and I don't want to leave them without a tail because that's one of their main defense systems is their tail because it's harder to get the tail out of the way, so they kind of run away, and the animal will come along, bam, grab its tail. The tail, when it breaks off, it's got these little fracture zones where it can break off. It breaks off and it goes like this, and it just keeps wiggling, keeps wiggling. So the animal's like distracted, is looking at the tail and thinking, oh, yum, 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 yum. Meanwhile, the guy goes like, ha, ha, and he like runs off, and he's okay. It takes a little bit of time for the tail to grow back. It's never quite the same. Um, it doesn't have the bones in it and stuff. But, um, so it'll be a little different color. He never lost his tail. It's a perfect looking tail. Um, if you were, this part would be like a little bit darker. And there's different fractured zones in the tail. So you wouldn't have to lose it from the, like, over here. He could lose just a piece of it. And it would still be there wiggling. You can see his eyes. His eyes are gorgeous. He's got those vertical, slitted pupils. Their toe pads are absolutely marvels of creation. Look at these toe pads. Their toe pads are excellent. Um, humans are studying them to learn more about um, Velcros and how to get things to stick. Um, they're absolutely incredible um, using the different uh, bonds 
that are going on here in order to get it to stick. Um, oh, little beauty. Ah, nah. He wants to bite. Should we let him bite? Ah. Ow! Just kidding. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> but I don't want to hurt his feelings, so I'll just kind of say that quietly. He's got cute little orange spots in there, too. Absolutely a gem. So, normally if you want to find geckos, you go out at night and find... Oh, 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 look at that! It's a girl! She's got eggs in there! Look at that! You see those little white spots? Oh my goodness! Wow! I'm sure that's what those are. Because I've never noticed those in any other gecko. Looks like she's got two eggs. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Wow! I bet she's going to have those really, really soon. Wow. That's fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed her. And I'm going to put her back. Let's reconstruct her house just a little bit here. And make sure we leave this nice and tidy. Because they seem to be having a really good time in here. And I don't really want to mess any of that up for them. So, let's see here. Get that there. Alright. Let's see. Ready? Here she likes that. Straight back into her um, somewhat natural environment. Thanks for um, studying some of these animals in the realm of the reptile. See you on another adventure.